Bob Skinner now got a little bit out of the throttle and give Earnhardt Jr. a plate there in the center part of the corner. Single file and the fellows who are running for their racing lives right now are Jeff Fuller and Robert Presley. They are ahead of the race leader Bobby Labonte as we watch Bobby's older brother defending champion in this race driving number five Terry Labonte and the outside pole sitter Kevin LePage running right with him. That just goes to show you even cars that are a lap down they have good race cars because right now they picked it up and Bobby Labonte hadn't been able to get by them and they're not holding him up. They've uh, made pit stops, have fresh tires, and perhaps made adjustments on their cars, and they are good. Here comes Earnhardt Jr. alongside fellow rookie Kenseth. Strong race car. He made that move on the outside. Usually when you move out there, you get hung up and, and go back. He just went right on by Matt Kenseth. Now he has the lap car of John Andretti just ahead, the Petty Pontiac. Working against the Bill Davis Pontiac 93 is Dave Blaney. Sounds pretty good, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, buddy, car in the top groove, car in the bottom groove. How do you be patient in this situation? Well, and Matt Kenseth making a move on the outside there. He got hung up, had to back out of the throttle. Now he's back pedaling a little. That's what you have well, to have, though, patience, because you can't panic and pull over in the traffic just because they moved up on you. And now Earnhardt Jr., he's got to look like that vulture in the cartoon saying, patience, heck, I'm going to go out and kill something. Because <laughs> he wanted that spot, and Matt Kenseth blew on by him. Now here's Mike Skinner right behind him. John Andretti on the outside of Earnhardt as they head down in turn one. And you can see the car actually get sideways in there in the corner there. That's what we call taking the air off the spoiler. As Earnhardt Jr. started turning in the corner, Andretti was on the outside and the car just went sideways getting off into turn one. Saw a little wiggle from Skinner there as he got up alongside Andretti. And here comes Jeff Burton from a provisional start. Coming toward the front, number 99. Up to six. Well, let's have a look now that the track has changed on our Fritos telemetry with Michael Waltrip. See if there's any difference in speed or RPM. A hundred laps into this race. Little traffic there. You see those RPMs going up there at about 8,600. Yeah, they qualified 192 miles an hour, and people are saying, where's the 192 at right now? But this is race conditions. You don't have the front end blocked off. Uh, they tape the nose of the car to get more downforce. The air passes over the car better, and you have fresh tires and everything. It's the best conditions when you qualify. Right now, in race conditions, you won't see those speeds. Bobby Labonte works over Robert Presley. Remember, this is one of Presley's favorite racetracks. He finished third here two years ago. Driving at 77. I bet Bobby's saying, well, this isn't all bad. I'm still leading. Nobody's catching me, and I'm sitting here with uh, lap traffic, and they're pulling me along. Now, he has gotten past Dick Trickle, and now Labonte will put Presley a lap down. So the only car between Labonte and Daylight is the Pontiac of Jeff Fuller. There's Fuller. Battle for seventh place. Seventh, eighth, and ninth. And a little further back than that. As they work underneath John Andretti, Dale Earnhardt, and Steve Park, that's 12th and 13th. There's Mark Martin on the left of your screen in car number six. Dave Blaney, Earnhardt there in the number three, the black car. As they head off down in the corners, these are, this is not a, a walk in the park. I'm noticing a lot of wheel movement uh, sliding around. Fuller going a lap down now, just in a second, because Bobby Labonte has closed in on him. So now Labonte has clear sailing for about half the racetrack around. And the second place car from Rusty Wallace on back still has to negotiate that traffic to have a shot at Bobby Labonte. And he's running over two seconds behind him. 
looking at this battle here back about one or rather 16th position and here's Jeff Burton trying to put the move to Mike Skinner they are fifth and sixth 106 laps complete in Texas Bobby Labonte leads Rusty Wallace and Dale Earnhardt Jr. CBS Sports Race Summary is sponsored by Nextel. How business gets done. After 110 laps have been completed, 165 miles, 11 leaders up in front, 12 lead changes, a couple of cautions, and Stacy Compton in that second caution, uh, a big victim there. He crashed, got through it, crashed earlier, and we've just had an incident over in turn number two. Let's get back with the story. Here's Mike Joy. Big crash up in turn two, and there is one of the cars involved. Jeff Gordon, again, has been snake bit here in Texas. You see the damage to the uh, hood and the left side of his Rick Hendrick Chevrolet, and there are other cars involved. Mike, Bill. you're right, and a car has been on top of that car. You can see the hood there mashed straight down where a car has been on top of the hood. Bill Elliott was definitely involved. He, he did get his car going and is going around uh, the racetrack now trying to catch up to see that debris on the racetrack. One car, light blue car, got up into the wall pretty hard. Uh, that could have been Jerry Nadu. Let's have a look. Blaney loose, everybody checks up, and it's Nadu who goes around off Gordon's bumper. Right behind Gordon was, and there's Bill Elliott. He's the one, buddy, that got up on top of Gordon. Right on top. They're, they're going down through there on two wheels. As a matter of fact, Bill Elliott, very lucky not to get upside down. Here it is again. They were running so close, coming off of turn two. See Chad Little in the green car getting slowed down. From Johnny Benson. Uh oh, hole closed up too quick for him. Whoa, look at Bill Elliott. He, he could go to the Joey Chetwood show if he wanted to. He went down through there on two wheels. Here it is again as Nadu goes hard into the wall. Now, I want you to watch the 93 right there, Blaney. Look how he gets loose checks up and everybody else just accordions behind him yeah and he got touched by nadu that really got nadu started on this wreck johnny benson just caught up in the middle there had nothing to do with it did a great job not to wipe his car out and the two dallas fort worth sponsored cars nadu's and benson's both in trouble now here's elliott's car being pushed back to the garage area a lot of damage on his ford had that great run at Daytona, finished in third place. And Dick Bergeron can give us an update. Earnhardt Jr. just clicked off the best pit stop of the day, and every other pit stop he has pulled has been a great one. They're all in the 15-second range. The car has been absolutely perfect. He is even telling himself and his crew on the radio, I just have to be patient. Let's go to Ralph. Pretty happy down here with the pit stop on the 18 as well. The world pit crew champions of 1999 clicked up a 15.4 second stop. They're pretty happy with the handling of the car. It was getting a little bit tight. They made a slight air pressure adjustment. Went up just a touch on the air pressures here with the 18, Bill Stevens. Not too many happy people in the Rusty Wallace pit. That was the worst pit stop they've had today. An air hose was in the way. Rusty had to wait until they moved it from out in front of the car. And as we look at the leaderboard, they are sinking rapidly. We'll have to check, though, because there's very little apparent damage to Johnny Benson's car. He was the last car into that skirmish with Bill Elliott up on top of Jeff Gordon. They're doing a little uh, dent and fender work on the right front, though, of Benson's car. So it may be a little more serious than we first thought. CBS Sports coverage of the DirecTV 500 continues after this message and a word from your local CBS station. <laughs> 